In this video, let me consider two numericals on Milman's theorem. Using Milman's theorem, find current through 2 plus J2 impedance for the following circuit. Here we suppose to find the current through 2 plus J2. And in this problem, use Milman's theorem to determine the voltage Vs of the network shown below. This is the given circuit. We suppose to find the value of Vs. Let me consider the first example. So we know that in Milman's theorem, the current in which branch we are finding current. We know that in Milman's theorem, the branch in which we are finding the current, that branch we supposed to remove from the circuit. So the first step is remove this 2 plus J2 branch from this circuit. I will keep the remaining things as it is. The circuit looks like this. So here we can see that. Let me consider this as V1 which is 1 volt. Let V2 is equal to 3 volt and let V3 is equal to 25 volt. Let this be register R1, this as register R2, this as register R3. That is R1 is equal to 1 ohm, R2 is equal to 2 ohm and R3 is equal to 5 ohm. So as we know in Milman's theorem, we are supposed to find the Milman's voltage that is Vm which is given by V1 Y1 plus V2 Y2 plus V3 Y3 divided by y1 plus y2 plus y3 so here y1 y2 y3 are reciprocals of r1 r2 and r3 that is i can write y1 is equal to 1 over r1 which is equal to 1 similarly i2 is equal to 1 over r2 which is 1 upon 2 that is 0.5 and y3 is equal to 1 upon 5 that is 0 0.2 so therefore now let me find vm that is v1 is 1 into y1 is 1 plus v2 is 3 into 0 0.5 plus v3 is 25 into 0 0.2 whole divided by we have y1 plus y2 plus y3 that is 1 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.2 so solving this we will get vm is equal to 4.411 volts so this is the milman's voltage vm now let me calculate the milman's impedance that is known as zm which is given by 1 over y1 plus y2 plus y3 therefore zm is equal to 1 upon y1 is 1 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.2 so solving this we will get zm is equal to 0 0.588 ohm so once after calculating vm and zm we supposed to connect vm and zm in series let me let this is vm zm should be connected in series with that that is zm which is equal to 0 0.588 and vm value is already we have found that is 4.41411 now to this equivalent circuit we supposed to find the register in which we are finding the current so we are finding the current in 2 plus j2 this 2 plus j2 we have to connect to here that is 2 and this is j2 let current through this circuit is i so therefore here i is equal to 4.411 divided by 0 0.588 plus 2 plus j2 simplifying this we equal to 1.066 minus j 0 0.824 amps or we can represent in polar form as 1.348 at an angle of minus 37.69 degree this is the current flows through 2 plus j2 ohm register now let me consider the second example.
so here er ey and eb values are given and the register impedance values are given so here 20 ohm it is nothing but j20 20 here there is a capacitor it means that it is minus j20 ohm and here we have register its value will be same so so we know that the milman's voltage is given by the expression vm is equal to v1 y1 plus v2 y2 plus v3 y3 whole divided by y1 plus y2 plus y3 so in this case v1 is nothing but er v2 is nothing but ey and v3 is nothing but e so the here v1 is nothing but er y1 is 1 upon j20 that is 1 upon j20 plus we have ey into 1 upon minus j20 plus we have eb into 1 upon 20 whole divided by we have 1 over j20 plus 1 over minus j20 plus 1 over 20 so let me substitute er that is 230 so 1 over 20 is that is minus j 0 0.05 plus ey is 230 minus 120 degree we have j 0 0.05 plus eb is 230 at an angle of 120 degree this is 0 0.05 and whole divided by we have minus j 0 0.05 plus j 0 0.05 plus 0 0.05 so let me solve this solving this will get vs is equal to so it gives 168.37 at an angle of minus 60 volts so this is the required result vs thank you for watching